welcome back families thank you so much for clicking on this video if this is your first time my name is mamri and you are very welcome this video is about burkina faso wow imagine leaving your home for two years not traveling not going on holiday not deciding to leave but because of torture and terrorists this group of people left their villages for two years, or some even more. Why? Because they couldn't move out of the village. They, according to my translator, they couldn't travel five kilometers from that village. And therefore they have to live because they need to farm to feed their family, so they fed. And thanks to our president, they are now back and they can move around for 50 kilometers and above. This is the job that they are doing and they want us to tell everyone what they are doing because the other side said it's not working, but it is really working. I'll put the video on the screen for you to be watching and I'll play a bit for you as well because I know some of you understand the language and you can tell us more about this video. It's in the local language. Please, let's listen to a bit and I'll be back. Thank you so much for your time. Yes, please, those who understand the language should translate it into English for us under the comment section. But like my understanding is they left two years ago and they are back with joy with their families. The women are healthy and so they will all help themselves to build uh, these houses or this family union together. It will not be the same because, you know, they will have all those memories. Um, but they are promised that they will protect them. They will protect them. Things are not going to be like it used to be anymore. The governance has changed. This one, the one that we know, our president or our three amigos, their aim is to look after their own people. They will not rely on anyone that will neglect them. And that's exactly what they are doing. Thank God that five kilometers they can't move it's like prison but now they can move 50 and above and they are happy even though they might not have enough it is good that they are back and they will rebuild themselves together let's listen to the volunteers the army that helped them to reclaim their land it's part english sorry it's part french and part local language so let's watch it together. Thank you so much for your time. La mission d'aujourd'hui consiste à, à retourner les, les villages de placer là, à mobiliser la population pour que la population puisse se déplacer. C'était des villages déjà dégarpillés. Donc, euh, avec euh, l'appui du président et le, notre chef de détachement ici, qui travaille jour et nuit, nous a mobilisé pour qu'on parte installer les, les, les villages qui avaient déjà des là. Donc, la mission de l'Église consiste à ça. 
on a lieu, on est de retour. Vraiment, il y a eu une forte mobilisation. Et on a programmé encore dans les jours à venir pour repartir. Voilà, c'est pour que les villages qui étaient déplacés, les gens puissent se retourner et aller culturer. Happy for them, ça ça amazing. Amazing. Oui. They are doing a great job. May God protect them all, the volunteers, um, the, the army, the president, the entire governance. May God protect them so they will live long and save their own people. And save their own people. I mean, Europeans, if one person, something happened to one person somewhere, you will see how, how. Even their animals, you will see how they will react. And uh, our people are like, you know, nobody cares. They will come in the name of helping and they will be helping themselves with the resources and neglect the people that really matters. I'm happy for them. And if you come from that area, let us know under the comment section. Uh, translate it a bit for us. I think it's great news and I want to share what the Alliance of Sahel what they are doing in the region. I hope my voice is up. It's going down now. <laughs> they will rebrate Africa one by one. Others will follow. Congo is going through tough time and nobody cares. They are there for years and years and years, yet nothing changed. Congolese people are sleeping in a tent. Some are even lucky to get a tent, yet the, the resources are being dig every day and night. And who cares? They put their own leader there. They come from nowhere and they will select the person they want to lead you. Excuse my language because we are fools and we don't know what is good for us. So they have to teach us what is good for us, use us, abuse us, everything in between and take, if I see any Congo video nowadays, I just don't want to watch it. And trust me, even though many of us are not showing it, it's happening, it's brutal. And because it makes me sad, and that's why I don't want to make anyone sad the way I feel sad. But at one point, we need to be exposing them that's the only way that people will know what is going on as well. Because I said I escaped it. And then something tell me that if everyone escape videos like that, how can people know what is going on? How can people know what is going on? So yes, I'm sorry I said that. I'm sorry I feel that way. They are all human beings as well. It's about time we start talking about them as well. Seeing Burkina Bays, Malians, the rest being happy, being liberated, um, it's about time to start shouting about Congo as well. Hopefully, hopefully things will change for them. They will stop sleeping in the tent and go and sleep in their homes, brand new homes that they deserve because that money that is going outside can build houses for them just like Burkina is doing, just like Niger and Mali are all doing together. I wanted to make another video, but my throat is not allowing me. So hopefully tomorrow or next day, I'll come back um, to share something with you, something about a video that I already made that will come out. So yes, see you soon. See you soon, my people. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye.